Yeah, no question, Jen. Good afternoon, everyone. Live atop the TPC River Highlands practice range. Some uh, diehard members out there working on their games. Two months from now is where the top players in the world will be sharpening their tools. But the Travelers Championship leadership spoke today in a teleconference about some of the challenges. Welcome to the first round of the Travelers Championship. The Travelers Championship, which through the years of this company's sponsorship has drawn up to 400,000 spectators, has come up big for its roughly 150 charities every year. 40 plus million has been raised. Um, it is, uh, a lot of that has come in the last 13 years, 14 years with Travelers as title sponsor. And since the PGA Tour announced there would be no fans permitted this year, sponsors have stepped up. And actually reaching out to us saying, hey, with everything going on, how can we still donate to make sure that charities are still going to benefit from this? The tour and tournament discussed all sorts of scenarios regarding fans. You looked at this health and safety as the priority here. This is the best decision for, uh, for the event. Let's face it, um, uh, playing um, the travelers not in front of a crowd is a new normal. At least for this year. We're going to have a chance, at least on TV, to enjoy a sport which showcases the best of Connecticut um, in a safe way. Uh, there's a whole lot of opportunity for us to still market and tell the world who we are and what we're great at because of the tournament. And creativity will be a key. Travelers, as well as the Travelers Championship, we're looking, we're working on uh, social, social media kind of things where we can engage fans uh, in the event, even though you're working from home.